Welcome everyone. Dori Sukup here and with me is Tara Lampkin. Hi. We are here to go over chapter number nine from my book, How to Make Millions with Your Medical Spa. And today's topic is all about the consultation. Woohoo! My favorite part. It's all about making millions. Absolutely. It's your first step to millions, right? It is. And that's probably one of the biggest mistakes we see mm -hmm. is that people don't take full advantage of the consultation process. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to fix today. We're going to go over this entire uh, dilemma that most people have within a medical spa or even a day spa is a lot of people don't do the consultation process properly. And that's what we're going to fix mm -hmm. today. So we're going to go over the ins and outs on how to do the consultation and then how it could literally lead to you making millions of dollars because really that's like your sales center. Now in the last chapter, we talked about sales, sales and more sales. So I hope that you implemented some of that information from that chapter. So we are continuing with the sales part of this book and the one we're talking about today is the consultation and then the next one is going to be on how to make money online with your website 24 7. so this whole part is all about revenue generation absolutely and i want to say shout out i see so many people joining us live on in, uh, zoom dory we have members we have marie key nice. in here so Hello. i'm super excited she's ready to get their consultation in shape yeah so it's nice to have our members joining us on facebook instagram zoom and welcome YouTube. absolutely yeah. And those that aren't members, it's great to have you here as well. Yeah, we welcome <laughs> we everybody like with everybody. open hearts. Absolutely. Right? That's very good. All so, right. Um, if it's your first time joining us, as always, we always make sure to mention if you do not yet have a copy of Dory's book, How to Make Millions with Your Medical Spa, you can get one on Amazon and we'll ship it right to you. Um, and if you are just catching us, which I believe this is our ninth chapter, mm -hmm. you can go on um, inspiration management and watch the previous one through eight chapters go to YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see the previous recording so that you can be caught up with us. So yeah. welcome. Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, you really should, because mm -hmm. whenever we post a new video, you'll get a notification if you ring the bell. And that way you stay on top of all the new content that we're putting out. Like I just did a webinar uh, this past week on five shifts that you must do to step into the millionaire circle. If you missed it, you definitely need to go on YouTube and watch that one. It was an amazing webinar. We had people literally from all over the world join us for that one. And I shared all kinds of great information to really help you get started on the right foot and reach a new level of success that you have not reached yet so that's yeah. really our goal for the year is to 10x let's do it i love that <laughs> and then as always make sure you like share comment with us we love your questions we love your interaction while we're live so have fun take some selfies of dory's book with you share them with us we love to see these things we're actually giving it doing a contest we and we're giving away one millionaire circle ticket you want to tell them how they can yes get it? so you need to follow us on social media facebook instagram youtube uh twitter all the major social media platforms you need to comment on our post like our post share our post and that will get and then subscribe to our YouTube channel mm -hmm. and that will get you registered so that hopefully you will be the winner of the free yeah. millionaire circle right. ticket. And we actually have a registration page too mm -hmm. to make sure that you are registered. You can go on inspirationmanagement.com and right on the home page, you'll see the millionaire circle. If you click on it, that's going to take you to a landing page where you can actually submit your registration form. So mm -hmm. I would recommend you also do that. That way, your name is definitely on the list, and we are giving away one free access, and that's a value of four thousand dollars, you guys. So I would make sure to do that. Yes, I agree. And then, as always, we want to share all of our love. So everyone, say hi to Tina. Tina is here in the studio with Dory and myself Tina. and Sarah. And, and she's so cute today. She has <laughs> her Louis Vuitton hat on. Yes, she's all uh, into the hat. We we have this thing in our office now with hats. So mm -hmm. we like them. We do. 
We, we, we don't get cold very often here. So when it is cold, it's nice to pull out that hat. Yeah. And then during the summer, we're all wearing our straw golfing hat. hats. Well, or straw. Yeah, or straw yeah. hats for our beach. Either so. way, yeah. Perfect. All right. So are you ready to get going? We're ready. Let's rock right. and roll. Now everybody join us. Let's go. Absolutely. So I'm going to start off with asking you, Dory, what is the first thing someone should do to perform an effective consultation? Actually, that's a great place to start mm -hmm. because it really starts with the mindset, right. like where they are uh, with their thought process. What is their thought about the consultation? And actually, that's what I covered during that uh, five shift webinar mm -hmm. into the millionaire circle. And I have to tell you, most people have that process wrong. And uh, I use the comparison on how people do the consultation the old way versus the new way, which we're going to get into here a little bit. But really, it truly really starts up here first, not only for you as a leader, but also for your team. And it starts with your guest relations team and how they're presenting the consultation and how are they reserving that consultation? Are they doing a quickie? consultation reservation where it's part of the experience or do we have the mindset to do a consultation that's a full-blown consultation that's reserved on your schedule for like 45 minutes or an hour so it really starts there and when once we get that mindset down on how to reserve the consultation then get the rest of the team's mindset as this is our opportunity to really help our clients and truly fulfill our professional obligation. And by doing so, the money automatically comes. And that's really, to me, one of the most important things that anybody can do is start right there with that whole uh, mindset shift that you really need to do. So it's going away from that a la carte mentality that I call, right? We all know this is really how I want you to think, by the way. So it's either doing business a la carte or doing those customized programs that you hear me talk about. The a la carte is going to more likely be in the hundreds of dollars where the customized program can be in the thousands of dollars. So you choose which way you want to do your business. But the old way of doing the consultation is the a la carte mentality. And you really need to get rid of that. Instead, what you want to do, especially if we're talking about brand new clients here, right? With the brand new client, we really need to do that head to toe consultation and get them to walk away with an entire customized program that would last for months, not just one time. And then I call it the praying method of getting them back. I was talking to Tina actually a little earlier and she was speaking with one of our clients and retention was their biggest problem. Well, why? Because mm -hmm. they have the a la carte mentality. People come in, you do the treatment, they leave and then you pray, they come back. <laughs> Where if you implement the business model we talk about, they should come in, you do the head to toe consultation, and now they're coming back for months, right? To do everything that they need. And that's the difference. So I would start there. Perfect. So after doing that, now they have the right mindset. Mm -hmm. What's the second step to implement an effective consultation process story? Oh, uh, a system. A system. You gotta have a system in place. If you systemize, actually, I was just writing our newsletter for this coming months, and my article is about how to fall in love with your business again, since it's yeah. Valentine's, right? And one of the things that, you know, most people do, and the reasons why so many places fail is lack of systems, you know, back to the four S's that we teach, right? Remember what they are? Systems, structure, strategies, and solutions, which lead to the fifth S, which is success. So if you don't have systems in place, then you're leaving success to a chance. One day we do it this way, another day we do it another way, and she does it one way, and she does it another way, and let's see which way the wind is blowing today. Right. <laughs> so if you have a system in place on how we make the reservation, how we do the consultation, how we customize a program, how we ask for the money, 
how we fulfill the program. How do we really deliver that great guest experience? How do we get them to come back over and over and over? If it's not systemized, then you're leaving it for a chance. And that's the last thing you want to do. So as far as, to, as far as the consultation process, our system for that is called the sacred system. And you know, I go over it in the chapter. So if you read the chapter, you would know what the sacred system is, but it's very important to really have a system in place. We'll dive into it a little bit more, but you gotta have that. And I love your system because it makes it so much easier so people don't have to guess what's the next step or mm -hmm. the next process. It's just, it's part of the system, right? Yep. So as long as you follow the sacred, then you'll, you won't miss any piece. So um, who's the ideal person a consultation is for or who should do the consultation? Who should do the it? consultation? Yes, that's a very good question, actually. Um, my ideal situation is to have one person with a clear position description of what this position is all about. And they're just basically doing one consultation after another, after another. This becomes your person that basically feeds the entire team because they're creating all these programs. And then we're just passing out these treatments that we're promoting, we're recommending to all of our clients. And that's how this department basically feeds everybody in your facility. So the more focused you are with that one person doing the work, the more successful mm -hmm. you're going to be. But here's the problem. A lot of people don't listen. They think they know better. And they let this one do a consultation and that one can do a consultation. And then I hear people, oh, I do it in the treatment room. And then I have people, oh, we do it over here in the corner. It's like, guys, <laughs> this is your sales center. Your consultation is sacred. That's why we call it the sacred system <laughs> because it is like, the most important thing to help you generate revenue in your place. And if you don't have the place set up in a nice uh, consultation suite, we'll get into that a little bit more here later. But if that one person is not in the place where they have all their tools, everything that they need, it's set up professionally, you're making a great impression on people, then you're not going Right. You're not going to succeed. It's like having one foot in and one foot out, or you're just doing it this way and that way. It just doesn't work. So to me, one of the most important treatment rooms or rooms in your medical spa or spa is the consultation. That's where all the magic happens. You know, and I'm so many times we look at people's floor plans, right? When they start working with us and we'll see their floor plans. And the first thing you notice, there's no consultation room mm -hmm. and you're con you have to restart from scratch because they mm -hmm. have no idea about the consultation. Or room. take one of the treatment rooms right. and assign it and they look at it as, oh, isn't that going to cost me money? I'm like, no, that's going to make you right. millions. <laughs> right. so, Big difference. <laughs> and I, I just, because they haven't been taught the system yet, right? They're right. just meeting inspiration management, so they don't even They're brand know. New. The, right. And Actually, so, that's a good catch. Right. I, I wish we could catch them all I during know. the space planning because we'll be saving them a lot of pain right. because a lot of people that we also work with are already established businesses. And it's like, okay, I have this space. Where do I do the consultations? Right. So it is a little um, tricky if you're already in business, but I have to tell you, it is so important to have one set place as long as you're reserving them, though. You can't have the place and let it sit empty. Right. <laughs> and then tell me, oh, Dory said, no, <laughs> Dory said to do the room, but you have to be producing those consultations. Right. Perfect. So I'm going to ask you another question, then I'm going to go look at the camera. Someone says I might have a little glitch here. So can you answer for us, Dory, what are the expectations that you can put on the person who's doing the consultation? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there should be a lot of expectations actually on that person. This is almost like a management position. As a matter of fact, a lot of our owners uh, would love to be the person doing the consultations too, because they're on top of their game. They know how to promote, they know how to recommend, they know how to do all these things. So it's very, very valuable uh, to have a person that's trained with everything that you need them to do. So you make sure 
that you're producing the results. So some of the expectations to me would be, how many consultations can we do in one day? What is the conversion rate from consultation to actually a customized program? What is the revenue per consultation on average? And what is the fulfillment amount of time that usually a full-blown customized program actually takes? So to me, the way I would measure the performance of that person doing the consultation is by what are we promoting, the revenue, how often we're doing them, and the conversion rate from consultation to actual customized program or a sale, if you will. But I know sale is such a, you know, a scary word for most people. But I have to tell you, the number one reason businesses fail is lack of sales, lack of cash flow. And if you don't address cash flow in your business, and the best way to address cash flow is from brand new people coming in, that's the first step, right? The consultation. And then the other cash flow is your recurring revenue model. So those are your two very important cash flow drivers in your business. And if you don't do that, if you don't focus on these two things, you're in deep caca. <laughs> That's not where you want to be. <laughs> so those are the responsibilities. We have another question here from Tina. Yes, Tina. Um, so Jennifer is asking, how much time should actually be allotted for the head to toe consultation? That's a great question. So it depends on how big your menu is. If you have a very large menu that offers all sorts of treatment, then it's going to take a little bit longer because you're making more recommendations. So ideally, the more we want them to purchase, the more time you will need. Like it's easy to recommend to someone, you know, Botox at 350 or a facial at 120. I mean, it takes me literally two minutes to make that recommendation from the pride system and convince her to uh, have a facial that's $300 instead of $85, right? So that's easy to do. But when we're talking about making those ginormous sales, we're talking about making a $7,000 sale, a $10,000 sale from a head to toe consultation, then you need a little more time to build the report, to go through the whole sacred system it does take time. So I would say at least 45 minutes to an hour for a head to toe consultation to do it properly and to generate the maximum amount of revenue from it. That was a good question. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So Dory, let me ask now, what's the ideal place to do the consultation? Can you do it in a treatment room or do they actually need a separate room? I know we just spoke about the space planning, but what's ideal? Well, like I just mentioned, she, she was putzing around, so she yeah. wasn't paying attention to me, but that's okay. So yeah, they definitely need a, a designated space. I mean, if, if space allows it, it's perfect to have your own suite, a consultation suite. If space is not possible to do that in your place, then you need to figure out, okay, maybe this treatment room, I can take it between the hours of 9 and 12 and do my consultation maybe in here, maybe rearrange it a little bit. So it's all about time planning and trying to make the most out of your space. So I would have to see the place to really make better advice. So how do you convince a client to go through the full-blown consultation? And I love this question because we get it so many times. Yeah, or that's, that's all back to that guest relations department. And if you don't have the guest relations program that we mm -hmm. have, you're really missing out. As a matter of fact, I was doing a private coaching call today with a high achiever mm -hmm. member, and it was all about the guest relations and what they're doing now and what they should be doing and, mm -hmm. you know, rating them and seeing how effective they're being. But if you don't take the time to train your guest relations team to do a proper invitation for the consultation and show the value, what am I going to gain? Mm -hmm. What will I walk away with? And if the guest relations team is not painting that beautiful picture to give me that value of what I'm going to gain from that, then I'm not going to reserve it. Right. 
So they have to sell me on it. You guys, everything has to be sold. <laughs> everything. So it starts with them knowing exactly how to invite brand new clients to make it like we're doing them a favor because we're doing this consultation. Right. So it makes a big, big difference in how they present it. So what are some of the legalities that we need to be aware of when we're doing a consultation? Actually, that's a good question. I have to first tell you, I am not an attorney. So <laughs> I'm not going to give you legal advice, but I can tell you this. If you're a medical spa, uh, depending on what state you're in, I mean, I have no idea because the, the laws change so much. I wish we could have federal laws instead of state laws because it's just crazy. It's like the wild, wild west right now as far as the legalities of who can do what, especially in a medical spa, not so much a day spa. But if you hired someone who is not a medical professional to do your consultations for you, in most cases, somebody needs to sign off who is a medical professional on that order. So what I would do is something like this. So I can have Tara do the consultations and customize the program and have all the retail products and all the things that I'm going to recommend for her. And then I would ask for the money, get you to buy in. Mm -hmm. And once she buys in, then I would go get my medical professional to just sign off and just briefly meet Tara. So I would say something like this. So Tara, congratulations. You are going to be so excited to have this program done. You're going to love the results. There's one more thing I want to do that's very special for you, and that's to introduce you to Tina, the medical director here. I'm going to have her come in. I'm going to have her actually sign off on the recommendations to make sure you're doing the right thing. Both of us are doing the right thing. And then we'll be ready to get you started. Okay. So I'm going to take a moment here while I'm gone. Please look through all the different testimonials and before and after pictures, and I'll be right back. So then I would go, I would bring Tina in. I'd say, Tina, this is Tara. She's a, a brand new uh, client to us. She agreed to do all this customized program. And I just wanted to make sure we've chosen everything right now. She informed me that she has concerns with this, 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 and that. And here are the recommendations that I made. Then Tina would sit down. She'll go over it and say, that's absolutely perfect. Congratulations. She'll sign off on it. And now we are legal, right? That's really all you need to do. But what we find happening is we find some medical professionals actually doing a consultation. Like your time is very valuable. You should not be doing the initial work what I'm talking about. This can be done with any kind of person. It doesn't have to be a medical professional. So the medical professionals can be injecting. They can be doing laser resurfacing. They can be doing whatever other procedures you have going on, bioidentical hormones, whether it's pellets, this, that, HCG. I don't know. All these different things can be done by that medical professional. Instead of sitting here going over treatments that anybody can go over and explain, right? So we're being smart. That's why it's so important to have the system, you guys, because in it, that's exactly what we teach. We teach you exactly what you need to be doing in order to be most productive and make the most amount of money and get the best results for everybody. So this is kind of funny. I have Jessica here and she goes, my team member just doesn't want to do the consultation. Yeah, fire them. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know that it's a choice. Yeah, right? it's not a choice. Are you kidding me? That's like running a, a football team. Mm -hmm. Just watching football last night, That's right? True. To have the Browns lost. Oh. Uh, I felt so bad for them. Yeah, but our anyway. Tampa Bay is in there. That's true. <laughs> Woohoo, Buccaneers. I know. So um, anyway, imagine you're the coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and mm -hmm. I walk in, I'm the linebacker, and I say, you know what? Today, I don't want to run. <laughs> Would have been like, you see the bench over there? That has your name on it. Yeah. And then or, next or season, lost. we're going to trade you. 
you're going to be our first vote out yeah, next season yeah. for a I just, you know, that's that's actually one of my biggest problems, actually, with a lot of leaders is they let the team members run the show mm -hmm. instead of you running the show. Right. Like, who's working for who here? Right. If they're going to tell you what to do as a leader, you're not a good leader. We need to talk. <laughs> because it's so important like this is your model this is your business model this is how we make money that's like mm -hmm. saying oh we don't want to make any money mm -hmm. forget it well and i think a lot of it comes up to number one sitting down making sure as a leader you have these ready i mean obviously they have to do a little bit of customizing in the consultation manual and then maybe approaching that person saying hey I have a great opportunity I would love for you rather than just saying, hey, now today you're doing consultation. Yeah, of course. Not. You know, so yeah. I think Jessica having that client, that team member say, I just don't want to do them mm -hmm. could be potentially an approach. Yeah. Of well, how they or she's not to trained on how to do. And of yeah. course, she's going to tell you no if she's not trained. But if she is trained and she's still telling you they don't want to do them, then yeah, you need to say goodbye. There's yeah. another question. Yeah. Um, Alexis was asking, should we charge for the consultation? That's a great Whoa. question. So um, I like charging for the consultations, but you can always present it in a way that the consultation is such and such, and then you can always give it to them as a credit towards the customized program if you like, so it ends up being free, mm -hmm. but at least you solidify the deal and make sure that they're going to show up instead of just letting it be free. And the other thing I like about charging for the consultation is it gives you differentiation because everybody else does mm -hmm. it for free. So if you do it and give it the respect it deserves mm -hmm. and you put a value on it and then you give that away, now you have a totally different presentation than just saying, oh, it's free. They don't even take the credit card. Actually, um, I barter with our little day spa down the corner to go get my manicures and pedicures. So I was sitting there uh, the other day, actually Saturday, I went for my manicure and pedicure and the girl was telling me, Robin uh, was telling me, oh, we were so disappointed the other day. And I'm like, why? She's like, because we had this uh, full day for two people all booked up. We had all the team, we had the food, we had the whole experience. We planned out the whole day for them and they didn't show up. Oh, I'm like, yeah. they didn't show up. I'm like, didn't you have a credit card? No. I'm like, who was the moron that reserved a full day of spa treatments and did not even bother to take a credit card to right. solidify the appointment or to even make sure they understand. Right. Like this is, if you don't show up, I'm charging your ass half a of this amount, right? Like, what the heck? Are you kidding me? So I felt so bad for them. But see, it goes back to training your team and how important it is to get credit card numbers when you do the reservation. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing to me how many people do not, still to this day, do not take a credit card information and they still do a reservation. Like, or you can't even get a reservation for a hotel without providing a credit or card or anywhere. Like you have to give it. So why not give it in this situation, right? And I like the fact that you said giving it value. So many times we do mm -hmm. see that the doctor is the one doing the consultation. And so they have to elevate that and well, show, right? What's if, your if, opinion no, on that? If, they, if the doctor is doing the consultation, you better charge right. a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely charge like $150, $200 for a consultation if I'm meeting with the doctor. But mm -hmm. again, I don't think the doctor should be doing the most right. of the consultation. Your time is too valuable. If you are a physician on this uh, Zoom with us or on Instagram or wherever you're watching us from, uh, you definitely have to charge for your consultations. And I don't even give it as a credit if you if you don't do that. And if you don't give it uh, as part of your payment, but if you have somebody, uh, a regular person, regular team member doing it, who's not a medical professional, you still want to charge, mm -hmm. but at least it's not taking up the mm -hmm. time of the doctor in case they don't show up like that. That'd be like a nightmare of all nightmares, yeah. but that's not what we teach you guys. Seriously. Right. If you follow the model as we teach it, you'll see it's like night and day. Don't do what everybody else is doing. 
Everybody else is doing it the wrong way. Everybody else is doing it the old way. I'm teaching you the most innovative and the best way possible to do a consultation that leads to thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's up to you what you do with this information. Yeah. So we have Jennifer here on Zoom with a story and she's asking what percentage commission should you give the team member who convert the client to membership question is the comp compensation hourly plus a yes. bonus or just mm -hmm. an hourly? So that's another great question. We have some smart people with we us do. Today. So Jennifer, um, the whole compensation model is really, it's a very complicated and detailed process that, I mean, I can try to simplify it here, but it should be a compensation mix. So you should pay them as little as possible hourly Mm -hmm. and then give them a bonus based on the revenue amount that they generate, right? So you can give them, you have to be careful with the medical spa environment because, you know, you want to get away from the fee splitting and this and that. Mm -hmm. So you want to call it a bonus, not commission. And the bonus should be paid as they reach their targets. So let's say, for example, out of a consultation room, I need to do at least seven consultations a day. So I can give her a bonus on actually performing those consultations. Then maybe I can do a higher bonus based on uh, the revenue that she generated or he generated from those uh, consultations. And then I would give them another revenue from converting the consultation into a recurring revenue after they're done with their customized program. So this person can earn mm -hmm. a great amount of money, but it's all value driven. So if this person's bringing value to me as a business owner, then of course I'm going to bonus them. I'm doing a great job. But what would you pay someone who's going to bring you at least a million dollars in business or $2 million in mm -hmm. business? I mean, would you mind paying that person a good amount of money? So it depends on your location, where mm -hmm. you are is a big thing. But we go over all that during the Leap Ahead seminar. If I don't know if Jennifer has been to the Leap Ahead. If not, you need to. So we go over the volume per guest compensation model and we give you all the process that it takes to truly come up with a great compensation model, not just for the consultation person, mm -hmm. but really for every person on the team. So Jennifer, again, is following up with another question, Dora, that you let her into. This is a private coaching call. I know. <laughs> so should you allow a massage or facial team members to perform consults or hire someone who does the full consults, which is best? Yeah. And I, I believe this is more of a, a day spa. Yeah. Um, so it depends on your structure. Mm -hmm. Now for repeat clients, of course, when you use the pride system, then the massage therapist is gonna do her quickie little consultation. The esthetician is gonna do the little quickie consultations. But we're talking about customizing a program on a brand new client. Mm -hmm. And if you have a brand new client coming in, it's best to do that full blown consultation with someone who's just designated to do consultations. So it doesn't matter whether you have a medi spa or a day spa or a wellness center or a regenerative medicine place, practice, whatever. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, you guys. The consultation is a consultation. Mm -hmm. It's how we get to know the person. It's how we build rapport. It's how we find out truly what they need and how we can help them. It's us qualifying them and figuring out whether we even want to work with that person or not. Mm -hmm. You better Google them because they could have sued the med spa down the street or complained or gave them bad reviews because they're not a person that you can please no matter what. So it's all about that. It's about managing expectations. So when you put all these pieces in place, you're protecting mm -hmm. yourself, you're protecting the client, you're protecting everybody else around you, and you're doing things properly. So no matter what kind of business you have, if you have a brand new person, you really need to sit down, talk right. with them, customize that program, and then go from there. Right. And they don't have to be, I think what Jennifer's getting, trying to clarify here, is do they have to be licensed? No. Like, no. 
Yeah. Actually, they have to be a good salesperson. They a have to be a good communicator and on your treatments, right? Yes. Which is easy to do. It has to be somebody who can build rapport, that can communicate, that looks good. Yes. <laughs> you cannot have somebody doing the con. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be harsh here, but it's it's the reality. Like you cannot have somebody uh, that doesn't look good, especially if you have a treatment that addresses that and they don't look the part, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Well, we're selling beauty. The yeah. name of it is the so beauty industry. They, they, gotta, they have to look as good as Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Her little Louis Vuitton hat on. But I mean, could you imagine going to like Estee Lauder counters and things like that, and they're not wearing the makeup and they're not beautiful. Every time you walk by there, they're put together. Even the guys are wearing yes. the makeup. Now. I mean, they are put together. So I agree with you, you're yeah. selling beauty. I mean, don't sit down and tell me about weight loss if you need the program yourself, because I'm going to be like, so let's do a consult for you now. <laughs> You've told me all How this. How many great pounds things. do you want to Would lose? you like to join me and do a, a, a weight loss match together, you know? So it's important. No, I, I just want to make sure I clarify, though, because there's really two different types of consultations. Mm -hmm. There's the, the full-blown consultation that we should really focus on with brand new clients. And then there's the quickie consultation for repeat client where we teach the pride system. Right. And we talked about that actually during the last mm -hmm. uh, chapter. So there's really two different things. And I just want to make sure Jennifer and everybody else understands the differences. So you have this one person doing the main consultations. Then as you come back, let's say Tara mm -hmm. is my esthetician, then she's going to take that customized program that I did for her and she's gonna say, oh, I see you're part of the customized program here. So today we are doing your Hydra facial, mm -hmm. right? And now it's my opportunity to upgrade that Hydra facial to include maybe light therapy, to include uh, whatever Needling, else, you, a bunch of stuff. whatever else you are microblading, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, dermaplaning, uh, things like that. So. Now she has the opportunity to upgrade me in addition to whatever I've already signed up for. Mm -hmm. So that's how we do these little mini consultations in the treatment room. So you see, am I making myself clear? Because it's really two totally different things. Full-blown consultations in the consultation room, mini consultations when they come back in the treatment room. Right. Is that clear? Yes. Because in between... Is that clear? She has a question. Well, yeah, because Susie was wondering, I mean, she was asking, do we do the treatments the same day as that consultation? Oh, that's another great question. Well, it depends on how you schedule it. And that's why, again, the guest relations team member needs to see. So now, if that's the case, there's a way to do that. And can you just clarify something so they didn't hear her full question? Oh, I'm sorry. Her full question is, do we do, do, we do the treatment the same day that we reserve the consultation? And the answer is it depends on whether the person wants um, an actual treatment. So let's use an example. Let's say I call up and I want Botox. The guest relations team says, oh, that's great. I can help you with that. Let me explain to you how we do Botox here. The first step, since you're a brand new client, is to come in for our get to know you consultation, where we literally do a consultation from head to toe we discover all of your needs, and then we give you a customized program on how to achieve your goals. Now, since you wanna do the Botox the same day, what I'm going to do is schedule your consultation, and then I'm going to schedule also your Botox treatment. So mm -hmm. here's how logistically you would do this in the med spa. So they would come in, I would do the consultations up to the point of just customization, no pricing right? Mm -hmm. I would just draw out the whole plan. I'm going to stop. I'm going to have them go get their Botox done. They're done with the Botox. They're going to come back to me. And now I'm going to show them the pricing for the entire program. And I'm going to close because here's what happens. If I'm having a treatment the same day and you put me in a consultation suite, and then you're trying to sell me without even having a treatment, you just turn me off. Right, mm -hmm. you agree? So instead, you customize the program, let them go get the treatment, you come back, and then I close. So here's how you should schedule that. 
I would schedule 45 or let's say 30 minutes. Then she can go get her Botox in 20 minutes. Then I would do another 10 minutes for closing. So that's how I would actually arrange for that. And that's going to be a great experience because they see you now as somebody who truly cares that you really want to give them the best results possible. Mm -hmm. And that's how we would do that. And now while they're doing that 20 minute Botox, you still have that opportunity to start another consult, get you them can. going you and can. then send them to a treatment room. Yeah. And it's just that con continuous repeat back, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all about, again, managing the schedule, schedule and you have to figure out, okay, well, what is an average consultation taking me based on my menu? How quickly can I customize a program? Mm -hmm. So of course, the better they are, the quicker you can be. And then you move on. Right. Perfect. And you mentioned menu. They definitely need to have a menu in that room with them. Well, they need I the mean, whole folder. There's so they, many times in, that they in don't. The, in the sacred system, there's a whole process, you guys. Mm -hmm. If you're doing things half-ass, you're going to get half-ass results. <laughs> Just that simple. So what you need to do is actually follow the process. And the process is making a great impression. So when you come in... You should have your folder with your logo on it. Inside that folder, we go over a whole list of things you need to have mm -hmm. in that folder. So it's all your credibility pieces. If you have a book, the book should be there. Um, if you have articles, if you have awards you've won. Did you guys hear about our award that we've won? I did. Well, I hope so. <laughs> we won the best consulting firm of the year. We were awarded that from my face, my body. This is global. So we are yeah. so excited about it. But anyway, so awards that you've won should be in here. Uh, success stories before and after pictures. It's it's like your, your belt. If you're a carpenter, you need your hammer, your nails, your measuring tape, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Right. You, you would know what else Absolutely. I would <laughs> And I like that, Dory, you mentioned the awards. If you have an opportunity, like for us, we won an award we have it virtually, but we're also getting it in our hands so yeah. that it can be. So say you go to someone's famous house and they want a Grammy. You don't just see a photo of a Grammy hanging mm -hmm. on the wall. You actually see it. It's mm -hmm. impactful. Mm -hmm. And that's what they should do too. I think if they have the opportunity to mm -hmm. have a real um, award trophy. made and yeah. a trophy, mm -hmm. they should. It adds so much yeah. value. It's like the Oscars, right? Absolutely. The Grammys, whatever. You always have something that you, and then you can do a video about it. Actually, I can't wait for us to get it. So we can oh, do yeah. so Wait until we it comes. We're going to do it. Everyone does and you know, they pass it around and everyone gets to touch it. It's like the Super Bowl trophy. Everyone touches it, takes it, has a kiss. Mm -hmm. So we have yeah. a question here, Dory. We have so many people on Zoom. Um, they're asking when you finish consultations and come up with the total cost of the program, how would you charge them on the spot for all of it? Or do you spread out over the cost? That's, that's I a, love this one. Yeah. And we have so many doctors here uh, yeah. live with us as well. So that's all about the closing techniques and how you actually close. So you should have two options. It shouldn't be, um, you know, we, we teach the word witch mm -hmm. and not the one on a broom. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about which way would you prefer to get started and the one way is cash and you can give me a cash bonus mm -hmm. for paying all in cash or you can have uh, let's say it's going to take me three months to do the program mm -hmm. then maybe I can take an initial deposit and then I can break up into three payments yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I'm posing that question which which, which would you prefer? Do you prefer to pay cash or would you prefer to do the monthly? Uh, and there's right it's up to you. So for those people who would like to get started right away, mm -hmm. here's an additional bonus we give you. And now you're creating that urgency to get them to act now. Because the last thing you want is, oh, I want to think about it, or I have to go to this, so you know, this and that. So there is a process in which you create that excitement. We talk about all the problems that they're experiencing, mm -hmm. and then we're offering these solutions. And the part of a successful consultation person is able to close right on the spot. Mm -hmm. And of course, if we can get the entire cash amount, great. If not, 
then you can still set up a payment plan. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And the doctor is saying, well, now I have to do um, where they charge external, okay. like financing no, or no, something. No, 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 do not, not do, not do that. Do not no. do that. Uh, you can do your own internal. Just yeah. take my credit card and you just process it. Like let's say today is the 18th or whatever day it is. Then on the 18th of each month, I'm going to charge her the three other payments automatically yeah. set up. And I don't have to ask her for another credit card or anything. It's just set up. So here's what we're going to do, Tara. Today, you're, we're taking deposit of $3,000. And then your payment of $2,500 each will be for the next three months. And here's the best part. You don't have to worry about remembering. We're going to go ahead and just set it up. And it'll be done automatically for you. Perfect. I love it. Yeah. You make it easy to do business with you. It is. That's what you have to do. Once mm -hmm. you start complicating things, it's not a... Yeah. And remember, she not said good. it's going to take you three months to do the treatment. So right. you're not doing them all on month one. You're not charging them until they come in. And you can schedule Correct. their appointments accordingly, right? They and as long as, as long as you stay ahead of the game, Correct. you don't have to yeah. worry about it. But no need for financing or any yeah. of that. Don't complicate the process. Yeah. Well, because mm -hmm. what happens with that is, oh, I have to see care credit and this yes. and that. Oh my God, you just lost this. You just lost $10,000 because you're not willing to break payments and do your own mm -hmm. payment plan for them. Like that's right. just plain, not smart. Yeah. So, you know, we've gotten off. I mean, this has been a great conversation mm -hmm. about the consultation, but can I ask you, cause it's all about that person that's doing it. What are some sales techniques you can share to do a successful consultation. Dory. Well, we just did. I know, right? Well, we just gave you which. <laughs> which do you prefer? I love it. Well, you, you mentioned know, it's early, amazing to me coming. how one word, one word can make such a difference. Actually, Tina and I were just talking about this mm -hmm. and how the verbiage is so important on what comes out of that mouth of yours. Like, uh, what do you think? Like, I hear this still mm -hmm. to this day. What do you think? Oh, I think I'm going to think about it. Right. <laughs> or your favorite. That, that's what like, I think. How was it? How was it? It's like, oh, my goodness. So, you know, sales to me um, is one of the most important things in any business. Uh, again, if you don't want to run out of cash, you have to be able to know how to sell. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we complicate the sales process more than it needs to be because we think that we have to be this, this, you know, car used car salesman or insurance salesman and trying to shove something down their throat. That's not what we're talking about. What I'm talking about sales, what I'm talking about sales is solving a concern, solving a problem for a person. So if there is my client and I'm treating her like she's my best friend, and I'm truly having a conversation with her about what is it that she would like to improve? What is it that she doesn't like? What is it that's bothering her? And then defining further, you know, how is that making you feel? What would happen mentally or philosophically if you don't address that? How is that gonna make you feel? Is it gonna get better or is it gonna get worse? Is it gonna get you happier? Is it gonna make you sadder? How is that gonna make you feel? So if we work on the emotional side of the sales process and Tara is sitting there and telling me, well, I'm definitely gonna be depressed. I'm not gonna be happy looking at my reflection in the mirror. Uh, it's not making me feel sexy. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like my feminine energy is coming out and she's telling me all these things. Do you think I have a chance of selling her now, now that I got her to tell me all these things? Then if she tells me at the end, I want to think about it, then I could say something like this. Well, Tara, correct me if I'm wrong. But during our conversation earlier, you shared with me that you don't like this, 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 and that. And you also shared with me that if you don't address it, it's going to help you be, it's going to make you be depressed, mm -hmm. unsexy, disappointed. So I'm, I'm just a little confused because if it's going to make you feel that way, why wouldn't you want to address it right, right now? So let's go ahead and get you started so we can get you happy. So you mm -hmm. can love your reflection in the mirror. 
it, it is an investment, but it's yeah. an investment in your mindset and the way you feel about yourself. Mm-hmm. And you are definitely worth it. So let's get you started. So, but if we don't do stuff like that and we're just focused on, you know, the facts instead of the emotional side of them saying yes, we're losing. Mm-hmm. So it really is selling is making that connection mm-hmm. emotionally with someone and helping them realize why is this in their best interest and what would happen if they don't. The what would happen if they don't is more important than anything else because it's them selling themselves on why they should be doing this. And your job as the consultation person is to walk them through that path and let them realize why this is important and what would happen if they don't. The rest is so easy. She's shaking her head there like, oh my mm-hmm. God, this makes so much sense, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, and, and not getting tied up in the, the back end logistics. Not, right? not getting tied so, up in the technical baloney, right. like yeah. talking about a stupid laser machine. Like, what do I care what kind of laser yeah. you're going to laser resurface my face with? What do I care about? All I care about is the results. Right. So, and that's where people make the mistakes. They're selling equipment rather than results. Mm-hmm. You can't sell equipment. Screw the equipment. Right. <laughs> that's not that's not what we're talking about here. Right. Well, and I think this almost ties into our sub topic next in two weeks is because it's all about the website. And we see so many websites and it's a bunch of equipment. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, it feels like Home Depot for me. And I'm mm-hmm. like, wait a minute, like, <laughs> you know. So we have one more question. The doctor is asking here. Are you considering real cash is when they pay in full to give them the discount? What if they pay that full amount on a credit card? Yeah, it's still cash. It's, it's still collecting, collecting all the money. money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, cash or cash, credit card, check, whatever you want right. to. Uh, Cartier watches. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the thing is like Louis Vuitton hats. <laughs> right. And, and you're guaranteeing yourselves those appointments. Yes. Well, you're you filling know, up your, your retention. I mean, Absolutely. that's it's all about retention, you guys. You work too hard on marketing. And it's amazing to me how many people are literally spending thousands of dollars on marketing mm-hmm. and they're just spinning their wheels and spinning their wheels and doing Google AdWords and this and that. And it's just not very smart. There are so many better ways to increase your capacity other than keep right. marketing. If you. And the same doctor is asking, should we go ahead and tell them about our membership during the consultation? No, no, absolutely not. Good question. And let me tell you why, because again, it's the business model that we teach. He needs to at least uh, sign up for the leap ahead so you yeah. can see the whole or she, I'm not sure, the whole business model. This is what we're going over today is just the partial part of the business model. You have to really implement the whole thing. Mm-hmm. the way we want you to implement it for you to gain the best benefit. So why do you think we don't want to tell them about the membership now at this point? Because you're going to miss out on thousands mm-hmm. of dollars from the customized program. And mm-hmm. you're not going to be able to give them the results that they need. You, you're just, you're, you're setting you're, yourself up for failure and, and then, for disappointment. Absolutely. So it's always the customized program first and right before they actually finish the consultation the maintenance is your vip program Mm -hmm. now unless you're a day spa i'll take that back here a little bit unless you're a day spa and you don't have like huge customized programs then you can offer the membership immediately Mm -hmm. but if you're a med spa never 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 Mm -hmm. never never it's like buying a BMW and they're selling you on the monthly ma- the maintenance already and you haven't even bought the car yet. Exactly. I mean, you don't even know how it drives. Yeah. But let me tell you about the, the maintenance monthly. Yeah. It's like, huh? Yeah, you got to do that. So I was listening to one of my uh, YouTube things the other day and they were telling a story about <clears throat> how important it is to follow systems like we teach. And um, the guy used an example as if I give you the recipe for like the best, whether it's chicken piccata, chocolate cake, cookies, whatever. And I tell you, uh, here's how you need to do it. First, you have to have the flour, the eggs, the sugar, mix it all up. Then you bake it. Then you put the frosting. 
So that's the model, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't listen. You take the flowers and the sugar, but you don't put in the eggs and you put it in the oven. And then you look and say, oh, I forgot the eggs. And then you go and pour the eggs on top of that. <laughs> what kind of cake is that going to be? Or what kind of cookie is that going right. to be? Or you put the frosting before the cake is out of the oven. So it's very important not only to follow the model, but to follow the model in the order that we teach you to follow it. Right. Or else you're not going to have a good cake. Nobody's going to want your cake. <laughs> you can't have your cake and eat it too <laughs> well you can <laughs> you might <laughs> so and then also the same doctors um requesting how much to discount on your offers and i think really that's that is where we need to sit down with you and have a consultation with you and see what you're doing because telling you you need to get 500 off a thousand off is not going to help you right so i would recommend that you reserve a success planning session with inspiration oh, management and, so and it doesn't kind of have to be this. yeah and it doesn't have to be money say right it could be additional perks it could be mm -hmm. retail products that you want them to get used to so right. um, when i'm saying it's great value and maybe we should not say discount you have to give them great value for taking uh, initiative now and by paying cash today, I'm going to give you this regimen. Right. And that could be your discount, right? So it's a value of, I'm giving you $500. So it could equate to 10% of $5,000, right? 10% of 5,000 is 500. So I could give it to you in products. It doesn't have to be in money. Remember. Right. Well, and she doesn't like the word discount anyways. That's right. Added value. That's and right. you'll see that like your monthly promotions, things like that. So um, for those that don't know where they can find the sacred system, we're almost out of time here. You can go to inspiration management. You can go to our shop. You can find the sacred system. We have all of it. We have the manuals. We have the video. So it's Dory teaching you and your team how to actually do the consultation. It has the forms on it. So Dory's talking about these customized programs and you actually have a customized program form. So you don't have to guess on what should be on there. You just need to make it match your menu. So um, you should either get it or just become a member. Absolutely. And that way you can get everything that we have. So yeah, I love that. You might as well get the whole model. You don't want just half a model. No. I then agree then with you'll you. be putting the eggs in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> So as always, we always end with your shortcuts to success. My favorite parts of, well, all of it's my favorite, but in the book, Dory kind of gives you that recipe that you don't have to see what's missing, right? So there's not going to be any missing pieces in your cake here. So first, your shortcuts to success are set number of consultations you should do per month. You want to set the revenue target per consultation, set up your consultation suite, prepare your credit credibility folder and all your forms, train the team on the sacred system and measure your effectiveness. Praise so, the Lord. Amen. Amen is right. I feel like we went to consultation wow. church today. We did. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, and that's what you, it is sacred. Yeah, absolutely. We named it the sacred. So, so. Um, I would go back and read that chapter again, listen to this again, maybe get your hands. If you're a member, of course, you already have this in your uh, Metropolitan University. If you're not, you really, it, it's, it will make you millions. Believe me, it's like night and day. So it's up to you what you do. All right. So with that, thanks, Tina. Thanks, Sarah. Yes. So we have to say bye to everyone here, Dory, because it looks like it looks something like happened lost, over there. We so. lost our Zoom. So I know. thank you so much for joining us. Stay healthy and stay safe. And until next time, stay inspired. Bye, bye everybody. Bye.